I don't know. Whoa. So deep down there, you guys. Help me. So that happened. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty. And I am back with another unboxing from Aaliyah. I have a bunch of vapor products that I just bought from them. And by a bunch, I mean three. I have some foundation, I have some lipstick, I have some concealer, all the things. First impressions, get ready with me unboxing all into one little video. Ready? Here we go. Well, let's get into it. Quick heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Okay, so I've pulled everything out of that giant box for three small products and here's what I have. The Vapor Soft Focus Foundation. So this is the one that is older and they're getting rid of them. Now I have the glass one, but I got it on super duper sale and um, I'm kind of excited about it. And I liked this formula better than the new formula, so I just bought it. So that happened. I could apply it, I suppose. It is a little bit darker than the one I have. Currently I have S130. This is S140, so this might get kind of funny. Um, let me take off the foundation that I have now, and then I will, might as well just throw it on. Might as well, right? Might as well. Be right back. Okie dokie. I just took everything else off of my face in terms of primers and all the rest of it, and I'm gonna try this darker shade because this this might be some good TV. You know what I mean? I wonder if this has a expiration date on it because I know they're getting rid of these. I don't know. Oh. See, and it's thicker. Ooh, it's dark. Ooh, I should have put a primer on. Oh boy. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Who needs a bronzer when you can just do this? You know? That was fun. You know what? It doesn't even smell like it's good anymore. Ruining my face for this. For a deal seems about right so that just took me a couple shades darker just came back from you know the bahamas that's what i'm gonna do with this for future i will combine this with a tinted moisturizer like the bamboo blur tinted moisturizer from 100 pure just to sort of knock it down a little bit or i could take my new inica foundation which is in color grace apply it on top just so i don't look completely ridiculous let's do that shall we yeah there we go better. It still offers that really crazy cool coverage thing that I adore, which is it just kind of dissolves into the skin and disappears and evens things out. That's significantly darker than I should probably have, but I love it so much, that formula in particular, even though it smells like it's probably not good anymore. I guess we'll find out. I am officially the guinea pig. I would rely on the retailer to not sell it if it's gone bad for any reason. So maybe I'll do a little quick email to them and just question because it's my first order with them. I want to see how their customer service is. Great, solved that dilemma. Now let's try something else from this order, which is brand new. This is the Illusionist Concealer. I love Vapor products. Very polarizing brand I find. Some of their products, like for instance, the foundation I just used. I'm shocked, I just haven't tried a lot of their other products. So I got the concealer in color 30 it comes in this little stick. It's probably a little dark. The theme for the day. See how this goes. I'm just gonna apply it with my finger and a very small amount under of the eye. Actually, it's the perfect color. Wow, it's a really good shade for me. Wowing the shade, not necessarily the application, although it's it's doing a nice job. Not sitting on top. At first it felt like it was applying a little bit too brightly in the sense that I'm like, is this supposed to luminize? I don't want a lit from within look under my eyes necessarily. That's for the rest of the fast. By fast I mean face. I don't know why I've been saying it like that lately. It's interesting. Interesting. It's not the most brightening I've had. This is probably one of the most natural looking concealers that I've tried so far. It's a bit more emollient, it's a bit more moisturizing, and it's a bit less heavy duty concealer. Not as silky as the Hint Duet Perfecting, but boy, if it isn't looking very natural. It really looks very natural. It's a little too on the sheen, sheen shiny side for me. I'm gonna pop a little bit of setting powder on, which is the RMS on powder. A little thrown off, can you tell? I like it, I just, it's different. Yeah, needs a little bit of setting. So it looks like a continuation of the skin that's just been lifted a little. It's not that like, bam, you're brightened. 
you look like you have concealer on, you know? Sometimes that's what happens when you do that, which is okay. It's okay. Shouldn't stand on top of the skin or look cakey or anything, but you can, you know, you can kind of tell. I gotta sit with this. Like everything that I try that's new, I gotta try it for a couple weeks and then get back to the final verdict, but so far I'm intrigued. Now I have the Siren lipstick in color Coquette. Ooh, ooh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This color I really liked because it looked like a nice in-between color. Oh wow, that's really nice. Literally just tried to smell my arm and I can just smell the sick. It's been a fun week. Yeah. Okay, so let's give this a shot. It looked like this cross between coral and a raspberry. And I liked it online. And I like it IRL. Translation in real life. Translation, the Nino. Anybody gets that reference? Tell me in the comments. You're my people if you get that reference. A little old school, but it's a good one. Mmm. Feels very rich. Feels like it may be my new favorite everyday color ever. Ever invented, ever. Kind of love it. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Hi. I'm gonna put this. Wow, I've gotta get my cuticles taken care of. Uh, on my eyes, because I'm going monochrome. I don't know why, this feels weird. Right, it feels right and it feels weird. You know, you're seeing all that pink eye stuff. Not like pink eye, that would be gross, but you know what I mean. You guys, sometimes you just gotta like try things and be cool with failing miserably on camera. That's how all of this started really. Freaking love it. What? I do have the Zuzu Lock Eyeliner on. This is fun. Monochrome. I mean, will that stay? I don't know. But this, out of the gate, winning. Loving it. Winner, winner, chicken, green beauty dinner. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so here's what we learned. Sometimes getting a deal isn't worth it. Case in point, the really dark really, really, really dark foundation. However, it still has the same effect that I like, so I'm not mad at it. So I think I will just have to like even it out with some tinted moisturizer. Here's what else I learned. Vapors concealer, very interesting. Need to learn more about it. I'll get back to you on that. And then finally, this little doodah. I love it. Siren lipstick, you guys. Why did it take me so long to get here? I don't know. I don't know. And yeah, I don't even have bronzer on at this point. I kind of feel like I don't need it. I've, I don't think I've ever said that ever in the history of my life. This is kind of a big day. You know what else I just thought? I could totally use this lipstick as blush. Like why not? It's a three fur. That's two fur, but one more. You know what I mean. Yes. yes. That's how you do monochrome without feeling like a crazy, crazy person. Cause you're not in a magazine. Maybe you're just running errands, you know? This is kind of an easy way to do it. You could just put far less product on there. You'd hit it out of the park. You just wouldn't have to be as dramatic. But like, come on. Who doesn't want to be a mom? And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was an interesting one for unboxing. Um, some interesting surprises. And I am freaking out over the Siren lipstick from Vapor. So you will be seeing all of these in future videos. I continue to test and try and review. And then I'll pile them all together and see if they make it into the best of Style Shaker approved green beauty picks. Okay, done. So on that note, I'm gonna go play some more with this stuff. And I will see you all right back here real soon. Until then, bye.